Hello Adelaide United fans, Jared here back on the pitch getting ready for our last couple of games in the Hyundai A-League regular season. Hopefully we'll get through to the finals. We'll talk about it in a second with our very special guest, Michael Moroni. Michael Moroni, thank you for joining me. My pleasure. It is both of our pleasures. Uh, now, Michael is brought to us by Terry Howe Printing Services. Fantastic sponsor uh, personally for Michael, but also um, of the club. They, they do a fair bit of stuff. Tell us about Terry Howe Printing Services, first of all. Yeah, Terry, he's, um, he's always busy. He's out there on Churchill Road. He's, um, his business does any kind of printing from business cards to all the signage at the ground, everything you see, even stuff like this. They probably did this. So, awesome. Uh, yeah, you can get in touch with them if you've got anything, anything printing. Great, he looks after Mickey, fantastic sponsor. All right, so this, as you know, last season you were on the pitch, you had a lot shorter hair, your hair has grown, your muscles have just grown in huge size as well. Um, so we're gonna talk about the season. Obviously the game's coming up, we'll get to social media in a second. And you gotta make sure you get your hands on the merchandise as well. What's left, 2015, 16 stuff, you can come and see us at the club or get online. Now, the game against the Mariners on the weekend leading into the final uh, two regular games of the season, I was watching it, and I mean, a 4-2 win is, is pretty good taking it away, but how do you think the form of the side is currently? Yeah, well, we got a couple of bodies back. So we had um, Cello, Carusco back, and um, Pablo came back as well and came on and got the goal. So we're getting a couple of bodies back at the right time, but important for us, it was just the three points. Whether it was 1-0, 5-0, it didn't matter. We just needed the three points. So. It, it kind of seemed like that watching the game as well, that it was one of those ones that because uh, Central Coast, I think, is sitting on 13 points at the bottom of the A-League table, it, it could have gone two ways. They could have uh, surprised us, and there was a couple of nice goals from them scoring the first one, and obviously, um, I think, the last one of the game. Yep. But uh, for us to get those points and then look forward to Sydney FC, who haven't won since David Carney's joined them, <laughs> sorry about that, and uh, then Melbourne City, Two pretty tough games. Yeah, and going back to Central Coast, they didn't play like they were a team on the bottom yeah, of the table yeah. as well. Um, I guess they've got nothing to lose, so they went out there to try and score and make something of it, and um, that was a very difficult game. But uh, looking forward, we've got the game against Sydney, and um, we don't wish it, but hopefully they rest some players because yeah. they've got the ACL coming up since they can't get um, a lot out of the league. So hopefully there'll be a few short and we'll... Uh, get a result up there and then it could come down to the final game of the season. So. It's an amazing time, isn't it? With so many teams um, separated by so few points. I mean, Melbourne City, the Wanderers, Brisbane, but we, we wait for results of every game to who's sitting at the top of the table and only for a short amount of time. No, it's exciting to be a fan of the A-League at the moment. So. Uh, now, I also wanted to ask you, in regards to a player at Adelaide United who came off the bench. What's going on with Pablo Sanchez? Because every time he comes off the bench, he scores. And I reckon he, he's leading Golden Boot at the moment. And he would have scored, I think, seven of his, I think is it eight or nine goals now, in after the 80th minute for most of them. He yeah. just comes on the field and he scores. No, he's definitely got a knack of scoring goals. And unfortunately, um, when he scored against Wellington, funnily enough, he uh, had a little tweak in his hammy. Yeah. So he... Uh, Missed a few weeks, but we're glad to have him back because uh, he's important for the team, whether it's for 10 minutes or 90 minutes. Fantastic. Uh, we are going to go to your social media questions in a second. Don't forget, you can always get involved with Adelaide United on the pitch with Michael Moroni. It's Sanchez, goes right. Good win. Italy try it again. He does. Oh, it's the post. Another return ball. Unbelievable. It's hit the post twice and it's a goal. Welcome back to The Pitch, Jared here, Michael Moroni, brought to you by Terry Howe Printing Services. Thank you very much for looking after Michael and also Adelaide United. Just looking at this uh, Hugo Organic Tea here. Good, just, um, okay, just sit that there, you can follow them on Instagram. Now, uh, Michael, you're on social media, aren't you? Yes, Instagram and Twitter, I think. I don't use them much. All right, any chance you can tell the viewers what your account name is if they want to have a look? Uh, you can look me up, I can't remember. Great, all right, fantastic <laughs> stuff. Uh, we also have now awards night on the uh, 4th of May at the Stanford Grand. Um, you can get your 2015, 16 jerseys and stuff like that. Okay, this is uh, on Twitter. Michael doesn't remember his um, username, which is fantastic. Um, at Ellie Goldman, do you have any pre-match rituals or habits? Uh, a lot of the players have certain superstitions. Um, 
I'm pretty good. I'm pretty you, boring. No, you're not boring. Yeah. You know what? You play the boring character, but you are such a talented man when it comes to your house. And I don't want to give too much information <laughs> away. But you've got hobbies, which you probably do pre or post game as well. And you're a creative man. You're a smart bloke. I don't think you give yourself enough credit. Tell us what your latest project is. <laughs> well, we were just talking off air. Me and Jared would like to joke about... Um our handiness around the house. Yep. Um, we send photos of each other. Well, not of each other. Do we, mate? I was doing things around the house. Um, whether it's <laughs> we've gone off track now. Oh, uh, we've uh, gone off track. <laughs> I'm blushing. Yeah, um, we send photos of each other. <laughs> putting up shelving around the house or building a table or whatever it is. We like to have a little joke. Um, because we're surprised ourselves when we do it, I think. Yeah, because yeah. we don't look like manly men. I mean, well, you do, but I obviously don't. All right, um, this is from <laughs> Ethan. Woo! Sento Fanti. Um, do you plan on cutting your hair? There's a fair bit going on with you here at the moment. Yeah. Um, at this stage, no. I just, I thought you had to grow it once in your life, so I'm giving it a go now while I'm relatively young. But How no, old are you? no plans to cut it. 29, yeah, and you were talking a while ago, this was um, uh, away from the club, but the different phases you go through with your hair, there is an uncomfortable period. If you can remember Nigel Bogard when he played for us and he wasn't getting red cards for Newcastle, I mean, it was rescinded, but it doesn't matter. Um, he had that uncomfortable phase and he didn't stick with it, but you did. There's definitely a couple of um, bad phases, but just got to stick through yeah, it. You've and got, I got yeah. my advice off Aussie. Oh I yeah, he had his long hair because he went through some stages there. Yes, and you look at photos of Ozzy with his short haircut now, and he looks yeah. like a different human being. Yeah. This is from at Mel Pearson, the best match you've ever played. The best match. Mm. Oh wow. Maybe we have to go back years if we're talking about best match, like memorable. Take us through the whole ninety minutes. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head. All right, good answer. At Jack McArdle 12, who do you support in the AFL? The Crows. Okay. At Angus Dot McFarlane, what was it like playing for your country? Very, very good. I happened to play, I think we were in Hong Kong, it was a couple of years ago, played against Guam. We, I think we battled them about 9-0. But you scored, didn't you? Yeah, one game, one goal. Look at that! And you were presented with your, like, it looks like the baggy green cap at the Socceroos game against Tajikistan the other night. Where did you put your green cap? Actually, just gave it to my dad, so it's at uh, mum and dad's place so for safekeeping. Awesome. I love that. All right, we are going to come back, and uh, Mickey's going to take a photo of himself on Snapchat. Don't forget to uh, make the most, of course, of our merchandise, which is available 2015 16. So I'm just looking at this. Um, you get or organic tea there. Might have some of that on the way home. It'll help me get to sleep. Beautiful, relaxing. Watch a movie. Might have a nice roast. Anyway, back in a sec on the pitch. You know what's going on in this part of the world, Joe. Must have been a difference of opinion between uh, Amor and Karoska. Here's Pablo Sanchez. Arrowed by the defender, Anthony Golak. Oh, welcome back to the pitch, joined by Michael Moroni. Two games left in the Hyundai A-League. We are taking on Sydney FC, then Melbourne City, and then hopefully we will get some home finals. Now, we don't know where, but let's just say at home. Uh, of course, all the details for our end of season dinner, the awards will be on the website, merchandise, things like that. Thank you to everybody for supporting the club. Uh, at home at Cooper Stadium for every home game this season. The World Crowd's been amazing, haven't they? Yeah, I think we've got about 12, 12 and a half, which is amazing for Easter weekend. Yeah. I thought yeah. everyone would be away. Playing the it's bottom really side really as good. well, so. Ah, oh, really good. Good stuff, everyone. Oh, and there was an AFL game on that day as well. Port Adelaide, I think it overlapped by an hour or something. Yeah. So, no, it was really good. Well done. Good Red Army, best supporters in the A-League as well. So if it was your first game you went to this season or you've been to every game since our inception, make sure you keep on supporting Adelaide United. All right, take a photo of yourself on Snapchat. Uh, you can follow us on Snapchat. All the behind the scenes action as well. Is good. Yours? No, you've got to sign it now. So you press this um, pen thing and then you sign your name with your finger because your finger acts as a pen. There you go. Good job. Well, I'm going to hand that back to our camera guy. There you go, mate. Mickey, all the best. Two games left then. Look forward to the finals. Good luck with um, your like handyman stuff. 
Um, thank you to Terry Howe Printing Services. And can you follow these guys on uh, Instagram as well? You can, Hugo Organic. Hugo Organic, if you want some tea, iced tea as well. It's perfect for the end of summer, I guess. But it's nice, I love iced tea. All right, see you later, go United.